you know, your intentions. But, you know, that works. <laughs> anyway, it would be funny. Tom I mean... versus Liam. All right. Tom going to bring some normalcy back into this. Let's, Let's see go, Tom. if uh, Tom can bring the heat. Oh, he's yeah. definitely got, he's got that fire sword for a reason. What is it? Bind, binding blade, I think it's called. The fire and blow. I mean, Roy, Roy is just bad in his game. This is probably one of the games he's best in. You know. Um, so getting into this, already at 40%, you know, I'm pretty sure that, you know, he's just gonna start looking for his and just normal Roy things, because why not? Why wouldn't you want to play Roy and get your normal things in, just get your bread and butter and just have fun? I feel like it's key, especially when playing against a more... Uh, it, it's an interest. Link himself is an interesting archetype, but Link can keep you out very, very effectively. So if you're playing a heavy combo character that likes to point point the gray stick in one direction and keep going in that way for an eternity, that's you took a right of town. What did you oh, do? Wow, <laughs> that's um, that's scary. Actually, I I say that, but Link on town is equally as dangerous. Honestly, Nearly you dying. something also really well that I didn't notice. Nice play with the bomb, by the way. Um, is also that Link is really good at like catching like just regular like landing options and falling into that up smash i mean wow you know link is link is you know pretty cool himself a lot better oh, yeah. than a sword in their respective games at least <laughs> I, I sense some animosity towards roy the character not tom <laughs> absolutely absolutely not roy is really nice and wonderful he just wants to protect his people He's he's yeah, doing he his do best. It? Maybe not. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be quite honest. You always like to see the hero struggle a little bit, and is, you know, that that's kind of kind of how Liam is in a a bit of a precarious spot right now. He's trying his best to keep Tom out, but boy, it can just be so quick. It can it is Very a nice. struggle to hold him out. <laughs> Wet noodle. Very nice lunch trap, but. You know, that bomb is going to save him right there, so... Already back on stage, 154%. If he doesn't keep him out soon, he's going to see himself on his last dock. And... Oh, very nice smash. Trying his best to regain the, um... Distance between them. Yeah, he's... Oh, much more reliant on his items. That's the parry, uh, true parry punish, what you're going to do. Uh... Liam needs to start re uh, incorporating a lot more of his normals into his game plan because there's only so much that Soft Boomerang and Uncharged Arrow are going to do against the onslaught of offense that Tom has been really putting out. Really solid turnaround grab, making Liam never feel safe. If he landed on platform, he was dead. And <laughs> more just keeps on coming. But going out for the edge guard here no just Ooh, letting wow. the bomb do it for him okay very okay. nice playing pretty heavy he's got a absolutely a, a path to victory here though it all starts perhaps with this i mean getting into it, i mean he was looking like he was doing really cool in uh getting um accomplishing very nice wow really tried to read that like um center stage you know, but didn't really do the best at it, but making it up even at this point... That hit that him? Better. Hello? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But getting sent back off stage himself, um, you know, at this point, it could really take anything for Link to kill because he does have rage at this point, and his f tilt is really strong. And, no, his f tilt is really strong. I mean, this is why you go to town and city to begin with. As much as Roy on town can be a devastating thanks to the double-edged dance link is equally as terrifying thanks to just really powerful ledge trapping in fd form like not many ways to get off and things like f tilt things like forward air uh, kill so early that 134 nair really okay i mean you got it dude very nice <laughs> i mean i shouldn't be surprised but just didn't really see it coming um, a lot of the uh, offense that Liam M would put up was reliant on grabs. He was making full use on if uh, full use in the fact that Tom was conditioned to shield against a lot of his items and a, a lot of boomerang and bomb and all of that good stuff. So normally he would commit to the grab, throw him off stage, and see what he could get. Just missing. 
Just, just missing. <laughs> But yeah, definitely needing to Ooh. take more of his, um, <laughs> you know, disadvantage a little bit more serious because when you're playing against a character, like as you said, against Roy, you're just not going to have a fun time. He's just going to be all up in your face. And if you can't do anything about that, then that's just, you're going to have so much fun. Yeah, his answer to the question in game one, which did get him the win, was just to be more offensive than defensive and try and counter hit and counter poke as much as he could. Uh, that may not work for two games, especially if Tom gets a, a couple more of his follow ups down pat. Uh, things like missed check tech chases off of down uh, or uh, combos out of throws. Uh, leaving a little bit of damage on the table was Tom, and he's not looking to make that mistake again. It's, nearly, nearly getting the edge card. A little bit better is how whenever um, Liam is put into a situation where he's off stage or just trying to get back onto stage, he's been mixing up a little bit more this time. That's really nice. A nice catch on the roll in, but gonna get hit by, um, by uh, whatever the neutral B is called. <laughs> um, but yes, very nice. Um, almost at even percent, I would say just like, a little bit 30 more but um taking that first stock um tom is just looking to see that he wants to get this nice lead to sit on and i mean if anything he can do it but <laughs> yeah it, it really looks like tom is a lot more comfortable in how liam wants to play the game of course getting caught by up smash out of shield is always going to be a little bit tricky Something, uh, something that is a little bit diff more difficult to avoid. Link's up smash is absolutely huge. Again, same situation happened twice, and now Liam is starting to catch on a little bit to a pretty, uh, a pretty glaring habit of Tom that uh, wasn't that he didn't punish as much in game one. Tom is aggressive out of shield, so if you have plenty of safe moves like Link does then whether it be safe on range or just shaped by raw frame data then you can start utilizing that uh, that fact and get a lot of powerful punishes as the damage will start to rack up soon as long as he can get himself back steady on stage swinging for the ledge trap okay it was a high risk high reward yes wow um. so that's for tom it's very unfortunate <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, looking like uh, he's making a little bit very nice at eighty percent up B killing town. Love it. This is why we go to town. I know uh, Delta Force, uh, New Jersey. Like he yep. totes that town is Link's best stage. Period. It provides to Link everything that he needs in any in any of its modes and its blast zones are perfect for how Link wants to kill you, as he could have reversed that up B and made things very scary for Tom. I mean, his Nair has definitely killed at 60, and I would only know that because that's happened to me twice already, but <laughs> that 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 kick is very strong. And Link's Nair does, really brings together Link's whole kit as he see yet another tech chase for Liam as he spun this game around uh, from a 80% deficit to now a 90% lead and the grabs keep coming if Tom doesn't Now you're reaching the point where you can no longer start just like taking grabs and holding the L. Oh Speaking just of the L <laughs> Really caught his feet Like his foot was in the wrong place at the wrong time. That is so sad He clipped his, Cause, clipped his Achilles. It's unfortunate. I mean Tom was actually really doing well. It just got to the point where, you know, Liam had these really good um, places of advantage and he just took them and it was actually right where he needed to. So if he didn't do that, that last stock, he would have been seeing himself in a game three situation against Tom. Man. Essentially just, you know, just removing the legend of Tom altogether. Y'all didn't know Tom like you thought you knew him. That's so crazy. 